Hello friends, I'm Marco from UPDF and welcome back to another episode of UPDF Tutorials. Today I'll show you how to create a fillable form on the Mac. Now, whenever you're running a business or you're an educator or a marketer, collecting information is an everyday task of your job. Fillable PDF forms make this utterly convenient by streamlining the process and wide accessibility. Considering their convenience, here is the guide how to create a fillable PDF from within UPDF. So folks, why create a fillable form? The answer is simple. To boost efficiency and convenience, manually collecting information can be time exhausting and consumes resources. With fillable forms, not only you can go green, but also do the same task in a short time. Additionally, fillable forms have a wider accessibility, catering to a larger audience. However, guys, it is very essential to seek a dedicated PDF tool for it. Only a tool with an array of tools can help you create professional forms. This is why we recommend UPDF application. It's an all-in-one software that caters to the basics and complexities of PDFs. Start up with UPDF for free today and enjoy free features. To download UPDF on Mac, click on the link below the video. Once the files are downloaded, install the software on your computer. To set up, now sign in or sign up with your credentials. Now, creating a fillable PDF with UPDF is simple. First, we need to open our document. Launch the application. Now on the home screen, click Open File and Browse and select your file from your PC or Mac. Now that we have our file open, here in the left toolbar, click on this icon to prepare form. The top toolbar will have all the tools. Click on the T icon here. A text box will be added to the page. Reposition it and double-click to manipulate the properties. For multiple choice questions, add checkboxes by clicking on this tick box icon. Add multiple boxes and alter them here in the properties menu. For questions with multiple answers, use this radio button. When multiple options are chosen, circles are shown filled. Create drop-down menu by clicking on the screen-shaped icon. Now double-click on the box to open the property menu. Type in a title for it. Under this heading for item, add your options for the drop-down menu. With the list button, you can add multiple drop downs in a file. Use this so multiple options can be selected from each list. And this right here is the A button. This is the OK button that can be used to confirm a specific order. On tapping it, you can set it to reset the form, submit the form, link to another URL or something else. For more advanced features, click on the settings icon here on the right side of the top toolbar. To display the name or highlight the selected text field, turn toggle on for display name and highlight existing field. To recognize form fields and make them fillable, tap on the form field recognition icon. A notification will appear to warn that the operation cannot be undone. Now click continue. To clear all the field areas, just go to the settings and here click on clear form. The entire form will be reset to the original. You can also choose to import or export forms saved locally on your computer. In the settings, click export or import for data transfer. And 
that's it. Create text fields and arrange the menus and buttons the way you like. At every step, review your work by clicking on the preview toggle button to switch the mode. Turn off the toggle to resume again with the working mode. The fillable PDF forms created by UPDF can be easily accessed by anyone with a Microsoft Office, browser, or any PDF reading tool. Alright, so this is how easy it is to create a fillable form with UPDF. And with that, it's time for goodbye. UPDF offers an array of features that simplify the process of creating fillable PDF forms. With so many options at hand, it is extremely convenient to design professional forms. And the best part is, you could fill them anywhere or with any application. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and drop a comment below. To see more videos like this, make sure you hit subscribe button as well. Cheers!